So I haven't made a video about it specifically, but it may it may have been early this year. I don't know. It was right when the year changed. I bought an Epson P700 photo printer that replaced my old Canon uh, my old Canon printer that I made videos about. Um, but so far, I've I've used the Epson regularly. Uh, printing out small print, mostly small print, some big prints, but I try to print, uh, you know, relatively often. I try to keep the printer active, and I'm trying to learn about the printer, learn about the different papers. But like I said, I, I've concentrated on small print, so I've, I've printed stuff like you know that are like on on a four by six paper. I printed a lot of uh, mostly black and white because this is just the. Uh, Black and white is just the the medium that I've been creating in the past, uh, you know, a few years, six seven years, I'd say. Uh, that's the it's the what I've been concentrating on. I should say. Obviously, I still I still shoot color, and whatnot. But black and white is the main thing. So because I'm concentrating on black and white, I've I, that's why I chose the Epson P700 because of the black and whites that came from it. Everything I saw was that it it produced some awesome uh, black and white images, so it seemed perfect for me. Anyways, in order to keep the printer active and to make sure that uh, um, it doesn't uh, the inks don't dry up and just allow me to learn the printer, I've been concentrating on these four by six prints, small prints. Um, keeps the printer active, and it allows it has allowed me to build, uh, to start to build, a an offline, um, you know, photo gallery, an offline selection of of of, of selects. So instead of instead of just relying on Lightroom or Capture One or Instagram for a place to go look at some of my best photos or favorite photos or photos that I want to keep, I have a an analog. Uh, copy so to speak to look at to browse through for a whole bunch of different purposes um, one of the things I want to do with these small prints is mail them out to people I've started to a little bit but I'm gonna make a some sort of system either on my buy me a coffee page or on my blog where you guys can buy uh, small collections uh, of small prints from me and I think uh, I love the idea of small prints because I love the idea of having stuff that you can hold and look at and and just experience in a different way than standing in a gallery, you know, or standing in a place where you're looking at something on a wall from 10, 15 feet away, not touching it, not experiencing it, not not get not getting a chance to feel to feel the paper and, and whatnot. So I love the small prints for that reason because it's a different experience than a large print. I mean, we all love large prints. I I love large prints. I want I would love to have a mural size print in a building or, or something like that. Of course I would. But I also love art form that you have at home and that you have on your shelf that you can that you take out from time to time and, and look at, or maybe you pin on a bulletin board or a dry erase board and, or whatnot. Stuff that becomes a little bit more part of your life as opposed to uh, just something that you stare at, at, at you know as you walk by and whatnot. There's a lot of different reasons why I enjoy small prints, but one reason. Um, is that it does allow me to experience my own set of photos, my own photography and art outside of the digital realm out without looking at a screen. And recently, the YouTube channel, The Photographic Eye, did a video that really coincides with this idea that it, 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 it pretty much saying what I'm trying to say and probably in a more uh, efficient way. And so I want to recommend this video to you guys as a part of this conversation about the benefits of small prints, whether they're prints that you make at home or whether you send your digital files off to a service and get a collection of small prints delivered. Uh, what he talks about in, in the video, the photographic eye video, what they talk, what he talks about there is utilizing a collection of small prints of your work to help you learn what your style might be, to help discover your photographic style. This is something that I think is uh, not talked about enough because I think 
we oft a lot of people, especially if you're starting out as a hobbyist, you're starting out as someone who's just new to street photography, you're new to an abstract photographer, your landscape photographer, or whatever style of photography you're getting into, the people who are just starting out look at the people who have already reached that point, who've discovered what style they are, the, and but there's no talk on the path to get there. And there's a, probably a million different journeys to take to, to get to that destination, but what he talks about in this video is the benefit of laying up, laying out a whole bunch of small prints on the ground, on a table, and just slowly absorbing them, walking around, looking at them, picking some up, you know, comparing them, just giving your chance, giving yourself a chance to have a physical relationship with the, with the photos, and looking like looking at them from an uh, uh, an aerial view when they're laid out on the ground, and just taking your time with that. Sometimes we'll ignite some ideas and it'll spark some um, thoughts in your head that, that you'll you'll be able to utilize when you go out and shoot next time. You'll recognize themes, you'll recognize uh, whether that's themes in color, themes in shape, theme in um, framing, themes in focal length. There's a whole bunch of different things you'll start to learn and start to notice when you review your work. And reviewing your work can be done digitally too, of course. If you have no way to make small prints, then this is just a matter of culling your huge library down to maybe a couple hundred photos and putting those out into a, maybe a folder or, or creating some sort of collage in Photoshop that you can kind of see them sitting next to each other. And then maybe these, maybe if you do that, it, it will do the same thing the prints do. Themes will arise, themes and colors, themes and shapes, the focal lengths that you like to use. All these things will start to, um, to rise up and, and become obvious to you. Stuff that may not be so obvious if you didn't do something like this. Something that might take a while. Uh, and like I said, there's probably a lot of different ways to go about doing this. But um, I love the suggestion that, that he made in this video. And I'll link to the video, of course, in the description. But I mean, want to talk about my small prints again. I, I did think I did earlier this year. But I want, I want to talk about my small prints again for a bit. And when I saw his video, I was like, this is, like, this is perfect. Because this is one of the reasons why I do this. I print out these prints because this is like, these are like going in Lightroom and, and you know, putting five stars or tagging it with something and then filtering it out based off that. So this is, this is kind of that idea where I know if I've taken the time to print, it an Im to print an image, it's at least good enough for me. That means it's at least good enough for me to, to that it's worthy of me going back to revisit, to look at again later, to see, you know, um, do I still feel as strongly about it now as I did then? Is there anything I can do to improve upon it? Is, you know, can I do a better crop? Can I edit, uh, edit the, the tones better, edit the contrast better, stuff like that. So I love small prints for, for many, many reasons. And if they allow you to um, learn more about your style, to learn more about your photography, then I think it's, that's, even a huge, that, that's another huge benefit to them. So I think there's two things I would like feedback on you guys in, in, on this video is if you haven't tried small, I should say, if you have tried small prints, then let me know how you've created them. If you have a printer at home, let us know what printer you're using. But better, even more, uh, maybe more useful for a lot of people is what printing service have you used if you've ordered small prints. Um, I haven't ordered any in a while, so it'd be nice to get some suggestions in the comments on some printing services that are useful for some photographers that want to print a collection of small prints. So leave some suggestions in the comments for printing services. And also um, leave some suggestions on how you've developed a style. If you feel like you're confident in a look or a style that you've, you've, you've created on your, that, that feels like your own, is there a way you can articulate that in the comments to help guide other photographers that come here to, 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 to look for ideas? So I think that's it for now. Um, I appreciate you guys. As always, I hope you've enjoyed some of these videos. I'm in, really enjoying this, this uh, DJI Pocket uh, setup. So I've been doing these kind of super casual with just using the window light and the built-in microphone. So hopefully they've worked out well so far. So thanks again as always, guys. I'll talk to you soon.